Hi there, thanks for watching. I'm Sarah and in this video you're going to discover the practical spirituality method that brings harmony and order and productivity and peace to your home and to your life by quickly and easily reconnecting with your soul and your intuition so that you can finally stop wondering what is the purpose of life uh, because when you do that everything will fall into place. If you follow your heart, everything around you at home and at work I will finally just get into a place of harmony so that you no longer have to feel worried and stressed all the time. And then you become this channel of light and love that helps to inspire and uplift others. So if you are feeling exhausted, if you are sick of the hamster wheel, if you feel like you have everything that you thought you wanted and still feel unfulfilled, if you're tired of constantly reacting and being triggered by those crazy humans, around you it's not your fault okay we live in a world that has gotten a little bit disconnected and the only way to help this world is to reconnect with ourselves and then from there by bringing that energy of presence and love and light and consciousness we help everyone else connect um, as well so if you feel like you just don't belong in this worldly world and there's uh, an energy within you that's awakening and calling for something else you're not alone okay and you know you want something more, but you don't know what exactly or how to get there. And you spend your days busy, busy, busy doing what you think you're supposed to be doing and taking care of everyone else's needs at home and at work, but you stay disconnected from your true self and your true purpose. You're right. It is not supposed to be this way. This is not the way that life was supposed to be, but there is a way to break free of this pattern. There's a way to stop feeling lost and confused and finally find that light and that peace that you've been looking for. There's a way to get everyone around you to respect your boundaries and your energy and constantly feel connected to this divine power that guides everything in your life so that you never ever feel exhausted and overwhelmed and lost again and so that you can create time and space to reconnect with your spirit and really feel that peace and bliss all the time because that's how spirit feels spirits always happy and light everything else is mind created dysfunction so this is what we're going to discover in this video the exact process that I'm using to create a life that revolves around peace and it's aligned with your soul instead of feeling like there's nothing else in life other than chasing money and success and pleasure and adventure we're gonna learn the number one reason why most conscious women who are trying to reconnect with their spirit keep going around in circles trying different methods and different teachers and programs without really finding what their soul is calling for and why it's gonna get that much worse as the years go by. We're gonna learn how to protect yourself from energy vampires and how to create um, an environment where there's no more drama and no more stress and these people no longer push your buttons. Okay, we're going to learn to diagnose and eliminate the energy drain and we're going to learn a simple way to become non-reactive and peaceful so that you can help awaken others at the end of the day. That's what it's all about. I want you to feel really grounded in this sense of awakening that you're experiencing from within and then I'm going to empower you to bring that to the world. So... To do that, we need to learn how to get people around you to stop the drama and stop plugging into their dysfunction. We are going to have to teach your family and your coworkers to respect that you have a life and to respect this new spiritual desire that you're choosing to nurture and that you're no longer at their service, being their robot slave, doing everything that everybody else wants you to do without taking care of you. And we are going to learn how to get those around you to pitch in and do their part so that you can breathe and you can live and you can stay connected to the spiritual intention. I'm not selling anything in this video, but I do have a special gift for you at the end if you want. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Practical spirituality method, I've broken it down into like three steps. Um, and it's designed to help women 
get their act together, get their families on board and make sure that they have a personal time for themselves. So who am I? I am Sarah. I am a traditional Usui Reiki master teacher, a holistic life coach and a yoga teacher. I have been practicing for 20 years. I have been teaching for 10 and I have tried so many things and this is why I've created this method because I know what it's like to just go around in circles, jumping from one thing to another, to one workshop to another without an integrated approach. So I have helped hundreds of women over 10 years to find this connection that I'm talking about. I have found that if you are given enough time to gather yourself and regain your energy, this inner strength will just begin to blossom from within because we are all connected to the energy of light and love. It's just, it's coated with all of this nonsense and we just need to learn how to have the right mindset and set the right boundaries so that we begin to clear some of that stuff that's dimming your light. And I will teach you how to lead so that the people around you appreciate you and value you and feel inspired by you. Um, the program has a holistic approach of three things. Number one, it's a mindfulness practice that's right for you. And this is different for everyone. Um, it could be yoga, meditation, Tai Chi, journaling, different things. And I will help you figure out what that is for you because really only you know what the right practice is. It's just, you might not have the awareness as of what exactly it is that you're looking for, whether you're doing it right or wrong. Um, we're going to gain some understanding on how the mind works, how the energy system works, how spirit works, how manifesting works and how life works. Cause you are either manifesting consciously or unconsciously. And so every experience in your life is trying to awaken you. And we are going to get to the root cause of what it is that your spirit's looking to heal. And then we're going to do some life coaching so that you can take this wisdom and this insight and this newfound centeredness and apply it into every action, every choice, every word, every decision, every single day of your life. This is why I call it practical spirituality because there's no woo woo, blissful, out of body experiences. I mean, you might have some of those, but they are a byproduct, not the goal. The goal is to create a life that is aligned with your spirit so you can experience that peace from within. Um, so step one is to reprioritize your spirit and to, because a lot of the times people feel like they're forced to choose between themselves and the worldly responsibilities. And when they spend that much energy externally, then they don't have enough life force energy internally to maintain their energetic balance. And then they're written with guilt. It's like, if you do what you want, you feel guilty that you're leaving, you know, the kids or the job or taking a day off or all these worldly responsibilities that you think you're supposed to be answering to um, and you feel guilty that you're taking care of yourself. And then on the other hand, if you spend too much time on this other side and you are taking care of everybody else, then you feel guilty and resentful that you're not taking care of what your spirit is really calling for. So then you feel like you have no purpose other than achieving these external goals of more money, more pleasure, more success, more adventures. And yet it doesn't matter how much you achieve externally, the result is the same. Exhaustion and frustration and feeling lost and without purpose. So we're going to learn to prioritize your spirit. And the way that we do that is we're going to activate this natural desire that you want, that you have to stay connected. And we're going to create a systematical, I'm sorry, a systematic, enjoyable and sustainable mindfulness practice. And we're going to learn how to set boundaries so that those around you understand and respect this time of yours. And this is going to end the cycle of guilt and allow you to just follow your heart fearlessly. I have helped so many women. This is one of the biggest feedbacks that I get of like, oh my goodness, I don't know where the guilt went, but there is not. You know why? Because there's clarity and there's the right mindset. Nothing really is going to change externally, but you are going to come into this really empowered place of doing what's right for you and therefore doing what's right for everyone else from a place of unconditional love and light and respect. And that is so, so incredibly powerful. Number two is we're going to realize her life purpose. Now people think this is some magic secret. It's actually very simple, but let's first 
see what it is that we think. A lot of the times we know that there's something more to life than just this hamster wheel of chasing worldly things. And maybe you've read some books or tried some mindfulness practices and maybe gone on retreats or tried different teachers and you catch tiny glimpses of what it is you're looking for, but then you end up going back to your life without really making any progress. And sooner or later, that feeling of unfulfillment comes back. Now, the problem is that you are the only one that knows what's right for you, but you might not have the tools and the guidance and the mindset to connect with this truth. You might not have a teacher who walks the path for real and knows how to guide you to connect with that inner self. So I don't have a specific prescription that I give everyone. My job as a teacher is to help you figure out what is right for you and then empower you and give you the clarity and the mindset that you need to not only connect with that internally, but begin to take external action towards living your life on purpose. Um, The purpose of life, this is where people are like, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing with my life. I have to tell you, your internal purpose is always the same to awaken, to heal, to improve spiritually, and to move away from fear and towards light and love. That's it. That's the purpose of life. Read that again. To awaken, to heal, to improve spiritually, to move away from fear and towards light and love. You know that. I know that. I know that you know that. Okay? But a lot of the times we think that our external purpose, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to serve? What am I supposed to, what kind of job am I supposed to have? How am I supposed to help people? That is your external purpose. And a lot of the times people try and manifest externally and they're focused on what they want to do externally. And when working with me, working on learning doesn't really matter. It's actually the other way around. You connect internally, you do this, awaken, heal, improve spiritually, move away from fear and towards light and love. And by aligning yourself with that vibration, then your external purpose just reveals itself and it comes effortlessly and everything begins flowing to you instead of you chasing it. Now, in order to do that, you need three things. You need a teacher who can guide you so that you can really go within and connect. You need a practice that's specifically for you, that works for you, because everybody's going to have different needs depending on their age and their upbringing and their you know, level of strength and flexibility and how their mind works and all sorts of different things. And you need a community that's also in a spiritual path to help you support and encourage this feeling okay and once you connect with that you'll be able to lead with patience with love with kindness with respect everything and everyone around you and you really will become that little channel of light that we all strive to be and number three is we are going to realign your life A lot of the times we give up our spiritual desires for the sake of managing work and family and doing the things that we think we're supposed to do. And we might even forget what it is that we want to accomplish spiritually. And then we end up feeling like we're lost on this earth without a real purpose. And this comes from ancestral and societal norms, expectations, and programming that have trained the mind to follow the herd. And you have forgotten who you truly are, which is a divine being and a spirit on earth having a human experience and you've forgotten what it is that you're here to accomplish so we are going to create a home and a work environment that supports the spiritual growth by realigning your life we are going to reconnect with your intuition with your heart's desire in a very practical way and we're going to restructure the roles and the things that you do at home and at work so that you can quickly and easily begin to flourish and connect with your inner wisdom and the spiritual desire that you have so that you have more energy and you can begin to live again. You know, a lot of the times, you know, you might feel like, what have I done over the last, you know, five, 10 years? Because you've been so caught up in the external stuff and you haven't really gone with it. A lot of the times that is one of that is another one of the biggest feedbacks that I get from my students. It's just the clarity. When you are in the right place and you clear away your rubbish, you can see clearly and you have all these insights and wisdom and you're no longer reacting. And then everything at home and at work begins and becomes an opportunity to grow and improve.
So let me ask you this. How long have your mind and your spirit been wrestling against each other? Like how many times do you know in your heart what you're supposed to be doing and your mind won't follow and you begin to rationalize and argue in your head and defend this position and defend this position and then trying to make sense of things when you already know in your heart but you can't get yourself to follow. In the last three years, how many minutes, how many hours, how many days, how many weeks have you wasted just trying to get what you thought you wanted and then still feeling lost and unfulfilled? How many days of stress? How many evenings of just not being able to sleep and settle down? Um, how many days without magic where you just go through the motions and get home exhausted and you spend a beautiful day on this earth and you didn't even realize it because you were so caught up in your head that you forgot to live? So here's how we can fix this fast. But first, you have to be really ready, willing, and able to take a leap of faith and really step into this power and this desire. So I want to give you an opportunity to leverage what you've learned in this video for free. And I'd like to set up a completely free call to discuss this practical spirituality method and how it works. And during our call, what's going to happen is I'm going to give you a personalized plan, a blueprint that's just for you so you can retake control of your life and find that inner peace and joy that you have been looking for. Now, before I tell you why I'm willing to do this for free and why you don't risk anything, I want to tell you about the plan, okay? During this call, I'm going to outline the exact blueprint that you can use to stop this cycle of constantly searching without finding your true purpose and without finding what you're looking for. You're going to learn how to get your energy levels to rise so that you can experience more contentment and bliss. And you're going to leave this call with the exact system that you can begin to implement to have a successful spiritual life and to inspire those around you. And now why am I willing to do this for free? Well, because I'm a mindfulness teacher. I have been practicing for 20 years. I have been teaching for 10 and chances are I can help you. And if you like what I have to offer, then you might choose to work with me. But this is not a sales pitch. The high pressure question that you're gonna get at the end of this call is would you like to would you like my help implementing this plan? That's it. And you can say yes or you can say no. Now, I only bring three or four clients a month to work with me because I want to make sure that they get the best results. So the worst thing is that you might just leave the call with the plan that you need so you can start making changes right away and you're no longer feeling lost and alone. I have a lot of resources that I can give you if you choose not to work with me. Plus, you also live with two bonuses. I have a guide on how to create a sustainable mindfulness practice and I have a free spirit course about what your soul is really looking for. And then the best thing that will happen is you will love the plan that I create for you and you decide to become a student of mine and you want my help implementing it. So I encourage you to follow your heart and trust your intuition. And if there's a little tug at your heart saying, oh my goodness, this sounds amazing. This is exactly what I've been looking for. Do yourself a favor, trust it, and book the call, okay? Because it's that that pull, that tug that you feel, that's your heart calling you to deeper levels of awareness and maybe guiding you that maybe this is the right teacher for you and you won't know if you don't get on the phone with me. And if you put it down and you go back to your life and rationalize why this is not a good idea, now you're doing more of what we're trying to heal. Okay, so give yourself the benefit of the doubt, trust your intuition and that inner wisdom that's pulling you forward. Now, I am a serious, yes, I'm compassionate and I'm very patient, but I have to warn you, I'm a no-nonsense, very direct teacher. I'm not an ego-boosting teacher. I'm not a delusional, like feed the delusion thinking that you're there when when you're not. I'm very real because that's what you need to actually make this change in your life for real. So if you're looking for a teacher to cuddle you, I'm probably not the one, okay? Um, I'm going to hold you accountable and I am going to 
inspire you and nurture that conscience and that conscious part of you that wants to awaken and heal and improve spiritually and move away from fear and towards light and love. So if this resonates with you, please book a call today. I would love to talk with you and see if my 90 day program is something that you might benefit from. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Bye-bye.